In this, our first episode of Vernal Pool Chronicles, we want to show you what vernal pools are and how they are different from other freshwater wetlands that you might encounter here in New England. Wetlands refer to ecosystems where the soil is saturated with water for all or some significant part of the year. Some wetlands are temporary or seasonal, while others have standing water for very long periods of time. These are considered to be perennial. Ponds and lakes, for example, are perennial wetlands that are common in New England. So are many streams and rivers, like the Pemigewasset River in New Hampshire, the Neponset River in Massachusetts, or the Wunasquatucket River in Rhode Island. Wetlands typically have distinctive vegetation that is adapted to the wet soil conditions, such as these cattails and these pond lilies. Wetlands also have distinctive animals, such as waterfowl, turtles and other reptiles, amphibians, and fish. Swamps are wetlands that are dominated by trees. This stand of Atlantic white cedar, found along the boardwalk to Ponkapog Bog in the Blue Hills Reservation, is an example of a swamp. There is usually plenty of sphagnum moss in most swamps, often growing in clumps called hummocks. The Atlantic white cedar and the red maple are two of the most common trees found in swamps. Marshes are dominated by grasses, such as this cattail marsh, and the salt marshes found along the Atlantic coastline. Bogs are common in the Northeast. A bog is a wetland that accumulates peat from the growth of sphagnum moss. Bogs are acidic environments and low in nutrients. One feature of many bogs is the presence of carnivorous plants, such as the sundew, the pitcher plant, and the bladderwort. A vernal pool is a type of seasonal wetland. It is a depression in the land that fills up with water for at least two to three months of the year and dries out periodically. The length of the time that the pool holds water is called the hydro period. Most vernal pools contain water for just a few months during the winter and spring and then dry out by the middle to the end of the summer. Some pools, however, are considered semi-permanent, having water for a few years before going through a dry period. Vernal pools can be found in a variety of locations and habitats in the northeastern United States. Many are found in forested areas, but others can be found in floodplains, old quarries, and even utility easements for power lines and natural gas pipelines. Vernal pools come in a variety of sizes. Some are just a few hundred square feet in area, while others might be as large or larger than an athletic field. These seasonal wetlands are usually shallow, averaging about three to four feet in depth, although some can reach depths of 10 feet or more. Some vernal pools are exposed to sunlight, and this allows for plant growth inside the pool. These are called open canopy pools. Other vernal pools are heavily shaded from the surrounding forest, and few plants can grow in the pool. These are called closed canopy pools. Some species will only live or breed in vernal pools. These are called obligate vernal pool species. In New England, some obligate vernal pool species are fairy shrimp, wood frogs, spotted salamanders, blue spotted salamanders, Jefferson salamanders, and marbled salamanders. 
One group you won't find in a vernal pool are the fish. Because vernal pools dry out periodically, fish populations are not supported. Obligate vernal pool species are adapted to periods of dryness. Take the fairy shrimp for example. They produce eggs that can survive on a dry vernal pool bottom until it fills with water again. The eggs will only hatch when the water conditions are right for survival. Do you see these fallen tree leaves? These are the main source of food and energy for vernal pool organisms. When they fall in the autumn, the dead leaves drop to the bottom of the pool where they become detritus. Caddisflies, isopods, and other species shred the leaves into smaller sized pieces that other organisms can eat to obtain energy. Wood frog tadpoles, fairy shrimp, and a variety of insect scavengers eat the smaller pieces of detritus that shredders leave behind. These in turn are eaten by predatory species, including insects, spiders, amphibians, reptiles, and birds. So let's review. A vernal pool is a seasonal wetland that fills with water for at least two to three months. It dries out periodically. It has no fish populations and it usually supports obligate species. Vernal pools are a special part of the New England landscape. We hope this program will help you to appreciate these habitats and the species that use them. Join us next time for another episode and thanks for watching.